Yo, what up guys and welcome to my bits, a channel where I update you on my daily cryptocurrency earnings and cryptocurrency news. Before I get started today, I just want to let you guys know that I will be changing the format on the show. For now, I'm just doing it like this because this is the best way to do it at the time and um, it's just easier for me to pump out uh, content like this every single day because there is so much stuff happening in the cryptocurrency space, but I do plan to edit more and add more um, graphics so you guys could more easily follow me and follow exactly what it is that I'm saying and get a better picture for what it is that I might be explaining on whatever video it may be. Um, please uh, consider subscribing and yeah, um, let's get into it. Alright, so going on to my Genesis Mining for today, March 21st, Tuesday, I got paid 1588 which is whack compared to what I was getting paid before but not every day is a good day I'm still waiting for one of those to come around um, if we go to the cryptocurrency markets Bitcoin is at 18 billion with a price of 11 22 which is good because I was getting worried about that price you know I am invested in this so that going down means my money going down and that's not cool ethereum is at three uh, almost four billion with 4304 as the price dash is at uh, 688 billion with 9587 as the price Monero is at 21 dollars and ripple is at whatever that may be also, I want to say in the future, I'm going to put up graphics and stuff so you guys don't get bored while you watch my videos because I have it. I, I know it's not the best strategy to be telling you all this information without giving you visuals and things so you could understand what exactly it is that I'm talking about and what's going on. In future videos, I do plan to make mine like that. Ethereum Classic is after Ripple, Litecoin, NEM, Augur, and MadeSafe. Those have held steady for the past few days and none of them have moved up. Actually, a move that I did see was Ethereum surpassed Litecoin. Which is pretty wild. Alright, so if I go to check the unconfirmed transactions, it is sitting at 22,800. And then moving along to my Genesis mining, if I move to the dashboard, I, from my Genesis, the Genesis mining, have made back from my initial investment of six thousand eight hundred and seventy-nine dollars. I have made back seven hundred and eighty-six. That's that's pretty nice because I invested a certain amount and then I get the daily payouts back, which is which is cool because it's like um, it's like re reusing your money. It's like getting your money paid back to you slowly in increments of Bitcoin, and that seems very beneficial to me. At least to me, it might not seem very beneficial to everybody else. Maybe not yet because they don't understand what Bitcoin is and I find that a big problem when I try to explain Bitcoin to anybody, but it is very beneficial. Alright guys, so for the stories I'm going to switch it up a bit just because I don't want to be reading verbatim from the screen, so I'll just kind of give thoughts on the topics that I've uh, looked up for the day. The first one is threat or opportunity. Blithmasters talks blockchain jobs impact. And in this article, it's about how blockchains could impact. Um, how, there's being talk that blockchains could impact the job market, just like robots or things like Uber, self-driving cars, and all of those things, because it would eliminate the need for tellers one day maybe if if um, blockchain were to become a, such a big thing and the companies who are currently running blockchains only ha employ about a hundred people so it would eliminate many jobs and this article also touched on how the developers have to think of the repercussions of this destructive technology and that was what the first article pretty much uh, said 
All right, guys, so the second story reads, the UE is now targeting unpermissioned blockchains. And what I got from this story is that the UE is trying to set forward laws to try to control and maintain um, blockchain technologies because they feel like it is dis disruptive. And um, they wanna try to fight money, money laundering and uh, just uh, money mixers that don't let them keep track of their fiat currencies which is it's it's almost like saying okay the whole world they advised they advised other countries to like step up to the plate and start putting laws themselves but it's almost like saying the whole world should pay attention to global warming not everybody's gonna do that all at once so basically these laws that they're putting forward are pretty much useless in my eyes Bitcoin is something that's decentralized and it can't be stopped by any one nation. And there's just uh, to to stop Bitcoin, you pretty much need to say, okay, we're gonna stop the internet. And at this point, I don't think that's possible. So, yeah, that's that's what I got from this story. All right, guys. So this last story is in the states, and it's a heartwarming one because it's always good to hear about good people who want to look out for everybody's best interest. This one reads, Nevada lawmaker moves to block taxes on blockchain transactions. The name of this um, senator is Ben Kikeherfer, and it's the Nevada Senate Bill 398. It's always awesome to hear about people who want to help others, and this Nevada senator is doing a great job by trying to let people have access, better access to blockchain technologies because blockchain technologies equal accountability and that's something this world is lacking a lot is accountability and we all need more people to be helping us like this i really appreciate this story and and, and you know it hits home man it hits home all right guys well that's gonna end it for this video please remember to like and subscribe comment i want to hear your thoughts i want to hear questions if you have any questions or any ideas on how i can make the show better please let me know i appreciate the thumbs up you guys already know have a blessed day and i will see you in the next video peace